Uh, hello everyone, it's me Luit here. As you can see, uh, in front of me there is the all new BS4 Himalayan Royal Enfield. Currently I am at uh, Royal Enfield Nogao showroom, which is situated at uh, somewhere near Lucky Dungar. Just I have just come to this Royal Enfield showroom to get my hands on the all new Himalayan BS4. Let me start the bike for the first time. Okay, as you can see, the exhaust note is very loud and clear and the gear also feels very very smooth as compared to the previous Himalayan. So let's start it. I must say the bike feels really big even though it doesn't look like much bigger but after you, once you sit on the saddle you just realize how big the bike is. The bike feels much smoother now as compared to the previous generation Himalayan. That's because the inclusion of uh, fuel injection technology fuel injection has made this bike a little bit smoother as compared to the previous one. The engine knocking is also gone. The, on the previous bike there was a lot of knocking sounds coming out from the engine block section. Currently I am riding at 60 km per hour but I can hardly feel any vibrations. So this is uh, one of the smoothest Royal Enfields I have ridden till date. That is a good thing. Gears are very 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 smooth as compared to the previous Royal Enfield I just rode. And the uh, suspension is mind blowing guys. I am riding over these potholes and I can hardly feel any pain on my butt. The riding position is very very calm and relaxed. I however feel these uh, rear view mirrors could have been a little better. This being round shaped looks a little bit awkward to me. Me being a Bajaj Dominar owner I have to say this bike feels a little bit heavier when you compare it to that of Dominar. I mean the Dominar is a heavy bike as well but uh, the mass distribution or weight proportion or whatever you want to call it they have worked on the Dominar on this particular thing so the, the Dominar being a heavy bike you don't feel that much heavy but this bike when I try to maneuver it it feels a little bit heavier as compared to the Dominar. Next thing is the brakes. I would say the brakes are decent enough but not that great considering it as a 400cc plus bike. There hasn't been any certain upgrades towards the brake department I believe. The rear brake is uh, uh, progressive and the front brake is quite okay. That's what I feel. Uh, the riding posture is better than the Dominar. That's what I feel. Uh, considering uh, touring in purpose. I would have loved if this bike had uh, uh, ABS and slipper clutch as an option even. But unfortunately, Royal Field didn't do it. I don't know why. You are paying almost uh, nearly 2 lakh rupees for this motorcycle. So at this price point, if there was an option of ABS even, that could have been better. Okay, so there is a little bit of off-road section over here. Uh, we are going there and we will find the off-roading capabilities of this bike. So let's get there. And here you go.
just impressive man I didn't expect the suspension to be this much good for off-roading but seriously this bike being a heavy bike goes over potholes just uh, you know easily it doesn't get uh, any kind of uh, trouble while going over potholes this is because of the long travel suspension wow this is a serious off-roader guys believe me the suspension on my Domina 400 is a little bit uh, stiff or, uh, or hard you can say that doesn't add much uh, satisfaction while you are riding or riding on this kind of broken patches of roads but on this there is a you know long uh, travel suspension which adds to the satisfaction of riding on roads full of potholes like this one I mean I'm just loving it but of course this is a entry level adventure tourer available in Indian market right now so this is a good thing I remember coming here two three years back on my Pulsar 220 and I was really having a lot of uh, you know back pain because of the potholes but this bike it feels uh, it can go all day long on roads like this and it will still be comforting you you won't feel any such issue on this bike on any kind of Indian roads currently I am doing 40 uh, 50 kilometers per hour on this road and the bike is going so well it doesn't feel like I am riding on a broken road. The previous generation Himalayans were having a little bit of quality issues like uh, you know a magnetic coil failure or breaking of uh, chassis or engine knocking and all vibrations from all over. Uh, Royal Enfield seems to uh, listed all the problems and since I am riding this bike for the first time and on very first ride I can't assure anyone if uh, this will perform good and not have any problem while being on uh, longer time with the owner so for those of you who are uh, thinking to get a uh, Himalayan so I would suggest you to wait for some time and uh, hear from the people who have owned it already and see if this gets any sort of uh, previous issues like magnetic toilet failure and all because since you are investing a big amount of money for this bike like nearly 2 lakhs so you won't be expecting this bike uh, having uh, same troubles all and all over again you will be exhausted after that so I am sure Renfield has addressed all the problems on this bike hey, don't just buy it wait for some time at least uh, 3 to 4 months if this bike gets any kind of manufacturing defects then you will see people uh, complaining over it on the internet okay I was asked but to take this road let's see where it takes this showroom guys just uh, explained me some functionalities of this uh, instrument console so this gets a uh, gear shifting indicator currently I am riding on third gear so it shows three it also gets a uh, temperature meter currently it's uh, 40 degrees Celsius so it's the console is showing 40 and the most interesting part about this bike is this gets an compass digital compass actually not manual for the first time in my life I am getting this uh, good patch after adding on broken roads and I am not feeling good because this bike rides so well on the broken roads that so this bike has a uh, oil cooler, not a liquid cooler. I can feel a little bit of heat towards my right leg. I am not sure how well an oil cooling can do justice to a 411cc engine. But it's not that much. The heat is not that much. It's wearable. But and uh, you know, liquid cooling could have been better for this bike.
This bike is really very much, uh, you know, yeah. confidence is praying to push the throttle when there is open road in front of you. And it also absorbs the oncoming sudden uh, potholes so well that you don't need to worry about, you know, falling down from the bike or something like that. Okay, so this bike uh, gives a uh, mileage of 27 to 30 km per liter on the highway and uh, I assume it would give somewhere around 22 to 25 on uh, city city areas. So overall it gives a uh, 25 to 27 km per liter of mileage. That's a good thing for a 411cc bike. That's nearly similar to my Dominar. Nearly. My Dominar gives uh, a little 30 plus, sometimes 30 to 33 depending upon the speed and the road conditions I am riding. After the third servicing of this bike, uh, this will also give uh, 30 plus mileage. That's what I believe. Don't know. Look at this, uh, how well these Zerigan mounts are. While you are on long, long rides, you can just put uh, lots and lots of, uh, you know, stuff, uh, luggage packed and uh, you can put on the bike and you can just go without much worrying about anything. This bike feels a dedicated off-roading bike, uh, you know, what you would expect from a 400cc, sub 500cc bike to behave on off-road. This bike does it all, but on the highway it feels a little less powered as compared to my Dominar, but that's okay because you won't be doing uh, triple digits on this bike uh, very often. You will be more taking this bike on off-roads and hills and uh, slushy roads and you will have uh, best memories on this those kind of roads with on this bike i bet i absolutely love this bike guys uh, but i feel uh, the price point could have been a little, little bit better uh, and the optional abs and sleeper clutch uh, could have been uh, a justice for the price point this bike is presented to its uh, buyers but that's okay uh, Royal has made such a smooth and uh, practical bike this time. I absolutely love it. This is just a uh, first impression ride guys. I will, uh, you know, may come here again hopefully and make a proper comparison video between the older Himalayan BS3 model and this new. Uh, Royal has improved a lot of technicalities on this bike. So that's it for today guys, I hope you liked watching this video, if you liked watching this video then let me know by giving it a little thumbs up, so if you are new then who do hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching this video guys, ride safe.